my name is Blair, but you can call me Esmeralda. Our school is putting on a production of Perry Moppins, and I, Esmeralda, am playing the lead role of Perry Moppins. Oh, sorry, it's Miss Moppins to you. Everything is going great, you know? Nothing is going wrong. Everything is going wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Who was that? Our director? Oh, she's great. Yeah, always respecting the cast. Are you eating? At a time like this? Where is the dedication? And she's very put together for all of us. I, Blair, believe that our director is great. But Esmeralda is disgusted about her tantrums. <laughs> Miss, are you okay? No! I will never be okay! Not without my vision being complete! Okay. <laughs> But there's a way to fix that. There is? Yes, would you like me to show you? Yes! If we look at the blueprint of the rooftop window set, we see that it is an equilateral triangle. This means that all the sides and the angles are congruent, or the same. So since we measured this side, and it concluded that it was 12 feet long, we can say that all three sides are 12 feet in length. Now we can draw the window on the rooftop. It needs to be as big as possible, so Blair... Esmeralda! Esmeralda can comfortably climb through the window. We need to find the diameter, which is the straight line passing through any two points opposite from each other on a circle. Esmeralda can take it from here! If we split the triangle up into three equal pieces, we can see that the height of each triangle segment is also the radius, or half the diameter, of the circle. To find the area of the entire triangle, we must use the formula 1 half base times height three times. When we do this, we will see that the formula for the area becomes 1 half radius times base 1, plus 1 half radius times base 2, plus 1 half radius times base 3. Is it done yet? Nope. If we look carefully at this formula, we can see it becomes 1 half radius times base 1, plus base 2, plus base 3, which gives us 1 half radius times perimeter. If we simplify this equation, we get area divided by perimeter equals radius divided by 2. To find the area of this triangle, we must find the height. In an equilateral triangle, we find the altitude instead of the height. The altitude of a triangle is the straight line from the vertex to the side opposite of it. To find the altitude, we must split the triangle up into two congruent right triangles, so we can use the Pythagorean theorem. If a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then 6 squared plus b squared equals 12 squared. After we simplify the exponents, subtract, and take the square root, we get altitude equals about 10.3923 units. To find the area, we must do 1 half base times altitude to get 62.3538 units. To find the perimeter, we must take all of the length of the side and add them together. 12 plus 12 plus 12 is 36. Since we found the area and perimeter of the triangle, now all we have to do is plug it into the equation area divided by perimeter equals radius divided by 2. After simplifying the equation, we find the radius is 3.4641. Since the diameter of the triangle is twice the radius, so all we have to do is multiply by 2. 3.4641 times 2 is... 6.9282! When rounded, we find our answer is... 6.9 feet! Yes! I did it! My production is saved! And it's all thanks to my brilliant mind and never giving up. <laughs> I'm a genius.